So let's talk a little bit about the heart and what is the normal heart look like and how it's supposed to function. The heart is a four chamber structure. There are two chambers on the top called the receiving chambers. There are two chambers on the bottom called the pumping chambers. So if we were to flow through the heart and take a trip through the heart, we would go into the right atrium, into the right ventricle. The right ventricle is a pumping chamber, so it would pump out the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary means lung, so it would go to the lung. That's where the blood would get reoxygenated. The carbon dioxide would get removed, so the blood goes from blue to pink and returns back into the left atrium. The blood then goes through the mitral valve into the left ventricle and out the aorta. So consequently, you can see there are no connections in the heart anywhere other than getting from one chamber to the next through these valves. Now the valves of the heart serve two very important, simple, but very important purposes. They open so the fluid can get from one chamber to the next, and they close so the fluid doesn't back up from that chamber to the former chamber from which the blood just came. Valves can have several different problems, but fall into two different categories. They can either be too tight, or they can be not tight enough. When they're too tight, we call that stenosis. And when they're not tight enough, we call that regurgitation. The two valves that we commonly have a problem with are the aortic valve and the mitral valve. And these are the valves that become diseased for many different reasons in human beings and need attention, uh, either early in life or later on in life. 